Welcome, uh, Mike Rondo here with a, another video. This is, uh, I almost said episode 90, but no, it is my 90th episode, I believe. Uh, where we go? There we go. There's my letter. Tonight I'm using just the standard Zippo pipe smoking uh, stainless steel, I think it is, or whatever the hell it is. But tonight, some more autumn evening in my favorite pipe. My author pipe. My author pipe, because I had a mouthful there. I gotta say, I heard from someone today in the comments section, I think this morning. Oh no, it was an email from John last night. And he's from Rhode Island as well. There seems to be a lot of Rhode Island pipe smokers. And uh, he'd mentioned he tried it last year, autumn evening, and he thought it was too sweet. And I, I understand where he's coming from. Uh, but he went back and tried it, and, and he seems to be liking it more now. So, because of my review, which is pretty cool. So, shout out to, to you, good sir. But tonight's video is a show and tell. Not much pipe-related stuff, although my pipe nook order should be here. Tomorrow, I believe. Sorry, I just needed another good puff of... Tried retrohaling again, it didn't work. But anyway, uh, one of my favorite new additions to the... Uh, Shed of Solitude is this over here. I don't know if you can barely see it, but I have a, a bottle opener here. And I was opening these bottles and they kept, the caps kept falling and I'm like, moron, you should put something there to catch them. And finally I did that. I took a tin and now when I do it, it just falls right in and it didn't that time. It actually fell that way because I didn't do it the way I normally do it. But hey, it's a good improvement. So I'm very proud of that. And there we go. Jacko with Sam Adams. So tonight I'm going to do an, uh, another show and tell. As you can see, this is one of them. One of the new lamps came in. And I am not putting it on the tripod because I'm going to avoid that whole... Actually, I'll show you. Let me see if I can get it over here. It's right here. This is what happened. This is the crime right here. My poor lantern. Good. It still works. I took the batteries out and used them for that lantern. Lantern. Um, I can't, this is all glass, which is surprising to me. So I, can, I think I can fix it somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to find a way to fix it. But in any case, that's out of commission for now, but I got another one and, and here we go. I got the two pack. So here we go. I got another one and you guys seen this before, so I'm not going to get into too much detail. Uh, so there you go. More lanterns, and I appreciate the feedback on the lighting. I kind of agree with you. I, when I played it back and I watched it, it was too flickery, too distracting. And even this is too, and this is on the low, low setting. Like, you know, you go up even further. I don't know, it seems to be dancing more that way. I dial it back. I don't know. We'll figure that out at some point as we go on. But in any case, thank you for the feedback. I'm probably going to order another two-pack two, two pack, uh, just because I kind of like them. They're really handy to have even around the house. I, I don't know. But anyway, so the other thing that came in my Amazon package today was some books. And we'll start with, uh, with this here, uh, Haunted Pubs of New England. Now this, I saw a friend post this on her Facebook, or she reposted it from a local bookstore. And I couldn't remember the bookstore, so I just copied it and kind of ordered online. And this will be interesting, because I did a lot of pub stuff back in the day. Um, and this is covering all the states of New England. Uh, let's see, New Hampshire. Let's see, this has got to be Rhode Island. Rhode Island, here we go. Here we go. Right at the end. The best for last, really. Uh, Rhode Island... New England, we have a lot of creepy ghost stories, and I got a lot, and I will be talking about that 
uh, next month. I'll be getting into that. And uh, another one I saw was Rhode Island Legends. Uh, Haunted uh, Hallows and uh, Monst Monsters Layers. So this will... Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> Funny, it just opened up to the Rhode Island. They, uh, to uh, Hannah Robinson's Tower in uh, South Kingston. That's, that's interesting. I don't know if they have the Nellie Vaughn. Oh, there'll be more on Nellie Vaughn. I know a few of my Rhode Island Pipers probably know what I'm talking about, but maybe you don't. But you will when you're done watching the video and I talk about it. But in any case, this will be fun to read. Again, goes with the scary stories, the Halloween theme coming up next month. So I look forward to that. Uh, by the way, this isn't going to be a very long video because I'm not feeling so hot, to be honest. Um... My allergies are kind of bugging me for some strange reason. I don't know what the deal is, but not feeling so good. It's, it's I, I don't know. If it's, it's been windy, so all the dust and whatever. You know what I love about this pipe? I can put anything in this pipe, and it won't ghost. It won't. It just smokes great. I can put anything in here. And it's it's good, no issues, no ghosting, no nothing. At least to me, anyway. Your mileage may vary. Oh, that was that was the very sweet, smoky on that one coming out. That was good. All right, so now to the thing that matters most out of this. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, it doesn't say where it's from, but it's from B&H. And if you're into YouTube, you probably know all about B&H. So, trusty knife. We'll open this up. I highly recommend one of these knives if you have a... If you needed a pocket EDC or a shed, shed knife. This is perfect, or a package knife, if you will. All right, all right, let's see what the goods are. Yeah, we don't need a receipt, unless something's broken. Let's pop all this packaging. There we go. All right, so first up, Cable. I know that's exciting, right? We got a cable. Really exciting. Then we got an audio cable. That's exciting too. So what could this be? I don't know, but... Dun, da, da, da. The thing that I've been eyeing for about, I'd say a month. Uh, it's podcast YouTube related. But uh, here it is, the Blackmagic ATM Mini. And i got to be honest, I was hesitant because I've never had any Blackmagic stuff. And a lot of this stuff seems fantastical and great. Um, but it always seems well out of my price. But this was within the price point at around $300 for the, what you get in this. It's pretty good. I probably should have went with the Pro. That's almost uh, two, three hundred dollars more. Um, we'll see once I get using this, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's a switcher. For those of you guys who don't know, this is basically what it does. You get your cameras. It plugs all your cameras in. One, two, three, four, um, and it cap. It's like a capture card as well. It can capture like you can plug my PlayStation Four. I'm gonna plug into this, and I'm gonna be playing some. Uh, Video games on the EG, EGM YouTube and stuff and Twitch. Uh, so there'll be that content as, as well. But I mostly got this for podcasting reasons because I've been formulating a few different shows. And like I said, a couple of, at the beginning of the month, I want to up my podcasting game, so to speak. And this is part of that because I want multi cameras. And I'm also still looking, I don't think it'll happen right away, but sometime next year, I would like to find a space. Um, 
that I could uh, rent, so to speak. And there's a few places I found within my price point, but the 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 place is kind of I don't think it'll fit my needs. That's the only downside. Um, if I could turn this shed into a thing, I would love to do that, but money wise, it would it wouldn't work. But uh, but this is going to help me get to more streaming capabilities because with especially because I use Streamyard to stream all, all the episodes with uh uh but we did the Igloo Media Roundtable and uh, I did three quarters to play and I want especially three quarters to play because I was trying to stream some gameplay and talk about things at the same time so I had to switch between two different cameras and it was kind of a pain in the ass uh, with StreamYard. StreamYard is very easy. It makes things simple and I love StreamYard. Uh, it just sends the, the feed right out to every place you can think of. Uh, YouTube, um, what else? Uh, Periscope, uh, Twitch, Facebook, all those things. And this here, when I plug it in, StreamYard will read it as the camera, but I can switch between camera views and it'll work out really well. So I'm very excited to use this and try this out and see what I can do and learn. Um, it's fun to, to learn these things and uh, challenge oneself. Do I want to bring these books in? No, I think I'll leave them out here. Um, and that's the, the beauty of... Uh, this whole journey I've been on with podcasting is is that I've had to learn all this on my own, and it's not very easy. Uh, I'm lucky. I'm I'm pretty good with technology and kind of I'm intuitive with how things work in that regard. So I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Of course, there was another option for a workspace. It's by Autonomous. I think that's what the name of the company is. I have one of their chairs. They make stand-up desk and some office stuff. But they make this... I forget what they call it. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Let me see if I can find... Uh, what do they call it? They call it Autonomous something pod. Let's see. Let me find this here. Go to their website... I know, riveting, riveting YouTube stuff here. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We want... I don't know why it's not here. Let's see. I'll find it. Let me go to the blog. Maybe the blog will have it. Uh-huh. I wasn't aware they had this till recently. Let me see if I can go. Mm. Let me type in pod. No, hold on. I will find this. It's going to drive me nuts. I know it's boring stuff to you guys now because I can't seem to find the damn thing. Ah, here we go. Zen works, dude. Really, I, w I guess I wasn't hippie enough here. But uh, here's, here's what they're, they're selling. It is pretty fancy and it's an option. The price is, uh, where is it? It's a bit pricey, to be honest. 
but it, it's a pretty good, uh, yeah, the early bird prices, uh, yeah, it starts at drop one, the leaders, uh, only 10 units available, 4,500, um, then there's another one for 10 units, 15 units is 13, 400. I don't know. I mean, that's, it's interesting. I don't know if it'll, it'll work out well. You're better off maybe going with studio shed. I don't know. That one's small, small footprint. It'd be pretty interesting to set that up and have, have that because I'd like to rent the space, but the amount of money I would rent, I might as well just buy something like that, build it, run the power and the stuff to it and, and go from there. I don't know. It's crazy to think, but, you know, I, I think big sometimes and a little over my head, but in any case. Well, that's going to do it for show and tell tonight. I'll be back again tomorrow, although tomorrow will be interesting because I'm going to, I might attempt right after work, jumping in the pool the temperatures are a little warmer now it's warming up tonight it's not that bad and uh brushing the pool and vacuuming the pool to get that out of the way because then thursday if i do that it'll be uh sealing up the the plugs or, or you know the skimmer and plugging in the uh the uh return and setting up the pillow and the thing and then i friday i can do the I can, I can do the uh, filter or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. The water's going to be cold either way, so I just might as well just jump in after work and do it, right? Uh, I think the water was at 64. <laughs> uh, it's a bit cold for me, uh, to say the least. But, you know, got to get it done. So, But anyway, that's going to do it tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Not the greatest video. I was just show and tell, showing you a few things, talking about the future with the podcasting. And I'll get into this a little bit more and talk about the why a little bit more maybe I'll, well maybe i'll just update you when i start tinkering around with it or something like that but in any case uh like and subscribe if you can if you want to uh, i'm up to 83 now which is great thank you uh you can follow me at uh instagram that's where i do all my social media stuff really it's at mike at no it's at mike uh, uh underscore EGM. Anyway, the link is in the description. I can't even remember. I changed it recently, so I can't I can't remember. It used to be podcaster Mike, but in any case, I'm out of here. Take care everybody. I will see you guys tomorrow.